What is happening everybody, I'm my name's Seven and welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing the top 10 worst skins in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now you guys, please do fire away in the comments below about things that you don't like in the game. It might be a bat bling, it might be a pickaxe, it might just be the skin itself. What ones do you have a distaste for and wish you could refund? Because of course the refund system is coming back to the game very, very soon. Now in 10th place, we're going to begin with the one and only Raptor. Now this skin, you'll remember this one. This was the one that was advertised with the whole new city, which is of course now Tilted Towers. Now you might think, why would people hate this one? And this is why I put it in 10th place. It is an iffy one. Some people do like it. The reason being is that there was a version that came out of this, which was a free Twitch, uh, Twitch Prime skin known as the Havoc. Now, anyone who purchased the Raptor skin, were, and then obviously they have Twitch Prime, they were really gutted by that. And the only other reason that people didn't really want this is they weren't too fussed about the actual back bling, which is the Raptor satchel. You can, if you want to, get this outfit whenever it comes into the store just to get that satchel, but there are better ones out there for sure for your back blings. And I'm quite mad uh, for those people out there. Luckily for me, I actually you know end up purchasing the outfit without actually owning Twitch Prime but now I own Twitch Prime it would have kind of been nice to you know go back and be able to get that outfit for free so I can understand the frustration of the players hence why we're putting that in 10th place today now we're gonna move on to our ninth actual outfit and now this one is another one that people were a bit iffy about now through the time period of the Valentine's Day special there were a bunch of outfits that were released that were lovey dovey. Now this is the Love Ranger. Personally I don't really mind this outfit but a lot of you guys said to me hey Seven I don't like this outfit and it was really surprising to be fair at first but I know why a lot of people even though they don't like the actual stone character why they would have went out of their way to purchase this outfit and the reason being is simply the back bling. You've probably seen it before in Fortnite you see a lot of John Wicks running around with the angel wings on them and it's understandable I use them all the time and they are honestly probably my favorite piece on any character I like to apply this back bling to pretty much any new character that, that I get it just suits and it looks really really cool who doesn't want to be an angel roaming around in Fortnite you know kicking the booty of all the players out there it's it's a cool outfit for the back bling the pickaxe that came though with this people really didn't like it at first i was so hyped about it i loved the design of it i remember when they got first leaked and i was like yo i need to get a hold of this when it was purchased though the sound effects were disgusting and it simply ruined the entire experience right there for me moving on to our eighth place in eighth place we have the shadow ops now this is simply just down to the design factor a lot of people said they didn't really like this outfit simply because of the way that it looks now there was a set of like outfits that came out around the same time that were very stealth like and had the similar kind of you know approach in the sense of design but for some reason this one just is a really distasted one i've, I've read so many articles talking about what skins people like and what they dislike and this is actually up there in, in, in higher positions than where I've placed it. Personally, I don't think it is one of the worst, hence why it's only in 8th place. I mean, I could have even put this in ninth instead of like the Love Ranger, because with this one, this is simply down to the design, whereas with some of the other ones, obviously people have actual bat blings, etc. Now, I don't think there were any bat blings or any pickaxes attached to this outfit, Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, but I do think this was just a standalone outfit that just came out, nothing overly special. And this one actually cost one and a half thousand V-Bucks. If you did buy this, you now have one and a half thousand V-Bucks of distasteful skin. Now moving on to the seventh outfit in the game. This is the Steel Sight. Now this one is one of those ones that I think the color scheme causes the issue. Like a lot of people don't really like the design of the color scheme on the actual character. They think it's a bit, you know, choppy. There's not much life to it. There isn't a lot of energy really going on. Obviously, you know, the actual eye piece over the character looks pretty cool, but the general design of the character and the, and the outfit color and stuff, it's not about standing out obviously to the enemy. It's pretty bland. It just doesn't really look very good but some people actually really like the steel cast back bling and that's another reason why people might purchase this one i actually do see a couple of people using this back bling on other characters the radio kind of phone on the back of the actual character me personally i'm not really a big you know big lover of this one and once again this is the same as the shadow ops this cost one and a half thousand v bucks when it came out and i believe there was a male version of it as well but i might be wrong there now moving on to sixth 
place. This, in my opinion, is just really ugly. I, I purchased both of them. There was a male and a female version. This is known as the Nightlight. Now, with this outfit, obviously, you're not going to spend a lot of money. Simply, this is a very, very cheap outfit. It's 800 V-Bucks for both the characters. You can, so that's 1,600 for two. So you're only paying 100 V-Bucks more than, obviously, the characters have previously shown you, that one and a half thousand each. Now, with these outfits, I just think it's the design of them. I don't really feel like there's much really going on. Now, these are obviously new to this season, season four. Maybe it's the fact that they're just mostly dark characters. I do like the design and the neon on them, but I've, I don't really know how else we could really go about this design on the character. I know that there really, it really isn't much of a canvas we can play with other than having, uh, having like a dark canvas. Obviously this is representing say, if you've ever seen those famous dancers, they, you know, they go into, uh, you know, the, the big talent shows, etc. They go into the dark and they do all the neon dances. If, I, if we could do something like that with the outfit, I'd change my mind, but because we can't, well, I'm not a massive fan of it. Now moving on to number five, we have another outfit from the time of Valentine's that came out. This one is really dis disliked simply because of the design factor of how bright and how pink and how colorful this character is. A lot of people have said to me, I really don't like the cuddle team leader. I haven't actually used it since Valentine's. I only used it simply for a video around the time of Valentine's Day. And I really don't see the point in using it other than that. But the bat bling is something that you could apply once again, similar to the actual Love Ranger with the, the wings. This little bow tie on the back of the character, you could apply this pretty much to anything that you really want to. Now this one cost 2000 V-Bucks at the time, which is quite a lot for sure. Now, when you uh, take these back blings and these items, etc., and you apply them to other characters, I personally believe that the outfits that came around the time of Valentine's, the back blings on those characters just are so much better than many other ones that have released, and they seem to apply so well to other characters in the game. If they start doing that fact, people would actually purchase skins they don't like, just like I have, just to get those back blings. Now, moving on, we're going to go over to number four. This is a very cheap skin known as the Devastator. Now, this one, the clip in the background, by the way, is actually crazy. I can't believe what I did until it was, it was actually manic. But the Devastator is just a plain, simple skin. It costs 800 V-Bucks, so we can't really think too much about it. It, it. It's simply just as it is. Now, I actually can't remember which season this one's from. This might actually be a season one skin, but it just simply is just an ugly looking skin. I like the colors and the concepts, but there really isn't much else going on with the character. It looks pretty much default, and you don't really want to be paying for a default skin. I mean, I'm only paying for it because I want to collect as many characters as I can. It's kind of like a collection book for me. But if you're one person out there who really wants to save for those precise, really high quality looking skins, the Devastator is not the boy for you, unfortunately. But moving over, we're going to take a look at some of the other ones. Now, these next ones that are coming up after this Devastator really are devastating, if you if you get the pun right there. <laughs> moving over to third place, we're going to be looking at the Hazard Agent. Now, Nick Air 30 uses this one. So I'm not going to bash it entirely because Nick Air 30 is a godly player and I appreciate you know what he does but with the hazard agent it's just one of those skins that just doesn't look very good i mean it's a kind of the same theme running with the new mutant that came out as well i'm not going to put that one in here because some people kind of like that but it's the same sort of color scheme uh, color scheme and style it's not really my thought sort of thing at all the hazard agent is also really expensive it's one and a half thousand v bucks and you've also got the back bling which is very similar to the male version as well uh, which is is it the contagion i think that's how you you pronounce it which is it, once again not really a back bling that you could apply to other characters and make it look nice i think it's one of those ones that simply just applies pretty well with the actual hazard outfit but then again you could also take this and you could apply it if you wanted to to things like the mutant but once again it's entirely up to you, whatever you wish, but I just personally want to stay away from that one. In second place, we have the Tomato Dude, okay? Like, the Tomato Head is just a character that I cannot stand. I, I thought I was going to be excited by it, and I kind of was before it actually released. Once I realized how big this guy had, like, his head is just humongous, it really put me off. Now, there actually is a back plane, which you can see on screen. It's the, the pizza delivery guy. And now people have used this in, in you know, many other situations and other outfits. So it's a back plane you could put elsewhere. Why not carry pizza on the back of John Wick? Who knows? You, you know, you can do it. You might as well. You've also got the, the pickaxe as well, which is the ax Axe which is obviously, you know, a, you know, a version of pepperoni, which is actually not too bad of a pickaxe. I don't own it, 
but I've seen people use it. It doesn't look too bad. But I've got favorite favorable pickaxes that I'd rather choose over that one, of course. Now this one costs one and a half thousand V bucks once again, and it is obviously a season four skin. If you guys like this one, let me know, and I do apologize for putting it in second place. But personally, I just think it isn't really my sort of style. By the way, that no scope was disgusting right there. Tomato head is wrecking until it's ours. Now moving on to the final skin, it is the nut. Cracker. I really don't like the Nutcracker. This one is just a. It's just. It's just not a nice outfit. The crack shot is just. Bleh, I just don't like it whatsoever. This one was another one where just the, the head on the character is just massive. You stand out. You're very, very noticeable. You've got a massive hitbox on it. Now, you do have the candy pickaxe, which is cool. That's one people do obviously like as well. And this came out in season one during the December holiday period. So, if you end up purchasing the crack shot and you don't like it, then hopefully, when the refund mode comes out, you put a refund that and get rid of it. Thank you for watching. Take care. Let me know in the comments what your most disliked actual outfits are. Peace, y'all. Peace, 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 peace.